Imagine a bridge that will not only break records, but redefine engineering possibilities. The Danjiang Bridge in Taiwan, set to become the world's longest single-mast, asymmetric cable-stayed bridge, is a marvel of modern design and technology. Spanning an impressive 920 meters across the Tamsui River, this $405.2 million project will connect the Tamsui and Bali districts, significantly reducing traffic congestion on the Guandu Bridge and cutting travel time by up to 25 minutes. Designed by the acclaimed Zaha Hadid architects, the bridge's striking Y-shaped pylon rises 200 meters above the water. This central mast supports a 450-meter span to the west and a 175-meter span to the east using state-of-the-art cable-stayed technology. But how do engineers plan to construct such a complex project? And how will they overcome the challenges posed by its unique Y-shaped structure? If you looked at a map of Taiwan, you'd see a bustling and vibrant country, with Taipei sitting at its northern tip. Here, the Tamsui River winds its way through the city, creating natural divides that complicate transportation. The Guandu Bridge, a key link on Highway 15, stretches across this river, connecting Taipei's busy urban areas and industrial zones. Now, why is this bridge so important? Picture it as the lifeline that connects various vital parts of Taipei. Without it, the already congested local roads would be overwhelmed, leading to even longer delays and higher risks of accidents. The bridge also facilitates the movement of goods to and from the port of Taipei and Taoyuan International Airport, crucial hubs for Taiwan's economy. Any disruption in this flow impacts local commuters, businesses, and trade. Imagine the daily hustle of thousands of vehicles and motorcycles trying to cross the river. The Guandu Bridge becomes a bottleneck, especially during peak hours when everyone is trying to get to work or return home. The bridge's design, with its narrow lanes and sharp curves, adds to the chaos, making it difficult for heavy trucks and swift motorcycles to navigate safely. This leads to frequent traffic jams and accidents, causing delays and posing risks to everyone on the road. To tackle these problems, authorities implemented measures like double main pillar guardrails at the entrance and exit of the bridge ramps. These guardrails aimed to prevent illegal lane changes, a significant cause of accidents. While this intervention did reduce accidents by about 20%, it provided only temporary relief. The underlying congestion problem persisted, as the guardrails couldn't address the root causes, the sheer volume of traffic, and the limited capacity of the bridge. The pressing need for a sustainable and efficient transport solution has never been more evident. The existing infrastructure is simply not equipped to handle the current and future demands. An innovative approach is essential to alleviate the congestion and improve safety for all road users. This leads us to the ambitious new project that promises to address these issues head-on, the Danjiang Bridge. This massive project, with a considerable budget of $405.2 million, was first unveiled in 2015 following an architecture competition. The Danjiang Bridge is an ambitious project aimed at addressing the traffic congestion problems plaguing the Guandu Bridge. Spanning an impressive 920 meters across the Tamsui River, this bridge is set to become the world's longest asymmetric cable-stayed bridge upon its completion in 2025. Designed by the renowned Zaha Hadid architects, the bridge will connect the Tamsui district in New Taipei City with the Bali district on the river's opposite bank. The Danjiang Bridge will feature dedicated lanes for vehicles, bicycles, and pedestrians, ensuring a smooth and safe passage for all types of commuters. The bridge's single concrete mast, towering 200 meters above the river, will support a main span of 450 meters to the west and 175 meters to the east, minimizing its visual impact on the surrounding environment. 
This unique design contributes to its structural integrity while offering a striking visual landmark. If we trace the bridge's path, it starts from the Tamsui District, extending across the Tamsui River to the Bali District. This strategic location connects two vital highways, significantly reducing travel time and congestion on existing routes. By providing an alternative route, the Danjiang Bridge will ease the traffic burden on the Guandu Bridge and other upstream bridges, enhancing the overall efficiency of Taiwan's northern transport network. The Danjiang Bridge's design is both innovative and functional. It features an asymmetrical cable-stayed design, which means the bridge is supported by cables attached to a central pylon. This design allows the bridge to span longer distances without needing multiple piers in the river. Fewer piers means less disruption to the water flow and marine life, making the bridge not only efficient but also environmentally friendly. The centerpiece of the Danjiang Bridge is its central pylon, which rises 200 meters above the river. Shaped like an inverted Y, this pylon is both a structural and visual marvel. Building this pylon was a significant challenge due to its height and unique shape. Traditional construction methods wouldn't work, so engineers developed a custom formwork system. This system acted like a mold, allowing workers to shape the concrete precisely, section by section. But standard formwork wasn't sufficient due to the unique inverted Y shape of the pylon, which changes as it rises. To address this, engineers used the VARIO and SCS systems. The VARIO system is highly adaptable, adjusting to the exact contours and dimensions needed for each section of the pylon. As the pylon shape changes, the Vario formwork can be modified to ensure each new section fits perfectly with the previous ones. This adaptability is crucial for maintaining both the structural integrity and aesthetic consistency of the pylon. The SCS, or self-climbing system, moves upward with the construction, providing a stable platform for workers to pour and shape concrete, especially useful for the angled and curved parts of the pylon. As the pylon rose higher, the ACS, or automatic climbing system, became essential. This system operates on rails, functioning like a scaffold that climbs with the workers. After completing a section, the entire system automatically moves up to the next level, speeding up construction and reducing the need for manual adjustments. The cables play a crucial role in the bridge's structure. These stay cables run in parallel from both sides of the pylon, supporting the bridge deck. Imagine holding a piece of rope taut between two points. The cables work similarly, providing stability and strength. These cables are firmly anchored in the ground and connected to the pylon, which bears the majority of the bridge's load. This setup reduces the need for multiple piers in the river, keeping the design sleek and the environmental impact low. One of the primary goals of the Danjiang Bridge is to alleviate the severe traffic congestion currently experienced on the Guandu Bridge. By providing a direct link between the Tamsui and Bali districts, the new bridge will significantly reduce travel times and ease the pressure on existing transport routes. The bridge is expected to decrease congestion on the Guandu Bridge and other upstream routes by approximately 30%, offering much-needed relief to daily commuters. Additionally, the bridge will cut the journey between Bali and Tamsui by 15 kilometers, saving up to 25 minutes of travel time. Beyond improving traffic flow, the Danjiang Bridge is set to bring substantial economic and social benefits to the region. By enhancing connectivity between New Taipei City and its surrounding areas, the bridge will facilitate smoother and more efficient movement of goods and people. This improved accessibility is expected to boost local businesses, attract investments, and create job opportunities, contributing to the region's economic growth. Moreover, the bridge will provide a safer and more convenient route for cyclists and pedestrians, promoting healthier and more sustainable modes of transport. 
The dedicated pedestrian and bicycle lanes will encourage more people to choose eco-friendly travel options, reducing the overall carbon footprint of the region. As the Danjiang Bridge nears completion, anticipation builds for the positive impact it will have on Taiwan's transport network. This bridge is not just a solution to traffic congestion, it represents a leap forward in engineering and architectural innovation. By connecting key regions, reducing travel times, and promoting sustainable transport, the Danjiang Bridge is set to become a symbol of progress and ingenuity. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications for more updates on innovative infrastructure projects around the world.